Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am back with um, working on my trash to treasure journal and um, we will get into that in a minute. I have one thing to share with you before beforehand about a future project. But for now, I wanted to say hi and hugs to Eva, Lori, Electric Grandma, and Too Close to the Moon. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your nice comments. I so appreciate you all. Okay, so next project. I just want, I had to share this with you guys. So my friend Jen Bishop, um, at dreams etc has a new kit out so this is going to be my next journal i'm so excited i got it all printed out um yesterday and wanted to share it with you guys so i can start cutting because there's lots of cutting so this cover i made for my first uh craft text ambassador uh project and it is um, using their orchid colored craft text. And so I'm going to use that for the cover of this because all the lace and everything, I thought it was really fun. And you'll see I have one of my friend Michelle's um, padded hearts on the front. She is padded heart co c o on Etsy. So, um, but. I wanted to share Jen's picture or Jen's pictures. Yeah. Jen's uh, digitals with you uh, real quick here. Uh, she also has a flip through on her channel, which you might want to check out because I've done mine on coffee dyed and she, she printed on, you know, on uh, regular paper, copy paper or photo paper or something. So the colors are much brighter as she shows them, as you can imagine. But the, this is her Fashion Bazaar um, collection. And it's in true Jen Bishop style. It's absolutely gorgeous. I, I tell you what, you guys. Hers, hers is a talented lady. <laughs> and um, so, and as always, her kits are huge. So let's see. I think there's... Sir... I can't remember how many pages there are here. There's like one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, ten. Ten of these with the with the ladies and that so there's 10 there and then this one okay we're gonna switch sides <laughs> let me make sure i'm in camera yeah um and then these are lined pages you can't see the lines as well on mine because they're coffee dyed paper but oh man i loved how this this turned out so one two three for five pages of the lined paper. And then there is, turn these around here. Can you see that whole thing? Pretty close. So then these are the envelopes and there's five of those two of the envelopes and they are so pretty. Love them, love them. I just love these little blue flowers with the pink flowers. I don't know. There's something about that that just makes my heart sing. I love it. So those are the five envelopes. Okay, and I have these upside down. And then these are, um, she calls them, I think, card for cards or something. But they're eight by eight papers. And then they've got some ephemera on the side to cut out too. I'm telling you what, my pal Jen, if I get a scan and cut, it's going to be because her. Because <laughs> she gives you so much um, ephemera. So that's what I want to show you so I can start, start my fussy cutting. So much fussy cutting. Oh, but I just love, look at this. This is like my favorite. I love this with those little blue flowers and with the pink. I don't know what it is. It just... I love it. So there's those and, you know, so ephemera and eight by eight. And then 
there are, make sure I'm in frame, then there are a whole bunch of, um, a whole bunch of these ephemera pages. Look at the paper dolls. And so these uh, I printed on my Epson presentation paper. Look at those. Aren't those just gorgeous? And that sweet face. Oh my gosh. Just love them. Lots of journaling cards of var various sizes. Just love it. Just love it. There's lots of colors in this kit. So lots of, um, you know, ways to, ways to take it as far as that goes and I wasn't really sure what I was going to put in this but there's there's purple in this pink blue yellow I mean it's it's kind of got it all because the ladies are in different clothes of different colors you know and then these I have an idea for these big old um perfume bottles and then these were just these are some I'm going to use for collage because um I needed to clean the heads on my printer and so like she has lines through her but the flowers and everything are great so so that is my next project I'm so excited about it but I'm also excited about what I'm doing right now so we're gonna get to that so I just wanted to share so I could start cutting that up <laughs> so I will put dreams etc link down below and you can go over and grab one too. Okay, so our tra uh, trash to treasure journal. I did the did the signatures, and I kind of mixed in um, a lot of grungy coffee dyed. I used some vintage Studio Seven One Seven. I used some original Art Studio, along with the main part of this, which is my Roxy creations italian but isn't that so fun and it's very it's all very grungy which is really what i wanted and then i use some of these papers from julie's flat well i'm mentioning that um a lot of you went over to order those and about the time that all those orders hit julie got a really bad flu and was two weeks out of doing any work so um and no one else had content or uh uh what do you want to say access had access to her message or her etsy so that they could message people so if you're waiting on an order that's why and i think she has she has talked to people now i need to put i need to put um art glitter glue on all that i did put uhu there is something that she does with these papers that makes things not stick very well to them i have noticed that and i don't i don't know if it's a chemical or something that she uses to dye the papers that color or what but that is a thing i've noticed so you might want to have your art glitter glue at the ready because yeah I've just noticed that it just nothing sticks to it apparently um art glitter glue does though but and also um I think they're baked a long time because they tend to crack which is why I put the washi tape down the middle to begin with so so a couple of hints on this stuff yeah so anyway, but I got the, got the signatures put together. And so that's all good. Oops, that goes in the middle. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to do two signatures in here. And, um, I think that still gives me room to do some, um, do some decorating and I decided I'm not I was going to put the you know the round things and the string I decided I'm going to just wrap this with some um sorry silk or something like that because I want it to be able to expand more than it might if I did it the other way and I feel like it'd be stronger holding it together so anyway all that to say 
or who knows, we might find some piece of trash <laughs> to put it together with. I don't know. Okay, so, but for today, what we're going to do is, where if I can find them, they've gotten buried. Um, I wanted to do these envelopes, particularly this one. So, I mean, I don't know how much we'll get done. So, maybe we'll get more than that done. Let's get, oh, I had a glue book out. Okay. Let's get organized, Gail. It's um, been kind of a crazy weekend because uh, we've gotten so much snow, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Um, yes, uh, yesterday morning, we got up to about a foot. And then... Um, it snowed all afternoon yesterday. We got another probably six inches or so. And then um, it's snowing right now. So my husband and Jimmy Joe are out back clearing the, clearing the area. Oh, I have to tell you. Sorry, I'm just getting my glue book prepared here because it gets this funky edge that bugs me. Um... The snow makes Jimmy Joe insane. <laughs> he loves it so much. But he seriously comes in the house. He's going 60 miles an hour. He's running through. He gets a rug. He knocks over everything. It's just like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Dog, settle down. Okay, so I wanted to make a couple pockets out of this window envelope. It's torn a little bit there, but that doesn't matter because we're going to collage it. So let's just, let's just play a little bit. Um, yeah, I kind of, I think I can, I can do two pot. I can do two pockets, you know, one this size, one this size, which which works for me. I'm going to glue this just where the um, where the original glue for the envelope is because we don't want it to go down too far or, you know, come out because we'll um, now I could, I should have probably covered that before I glued that, but that's okay. Either way, it'll work. Okay, so what I was thinking I would like to do is I want to get one of my um, papers from Jesse at Vintage Studio. I think I might like this one. Ooh, we haven't used this one yet. I, I did put several of these papers, so I only have a few left for collaging, but I put some of them into um, the uh, signatures, you know? because I think I want to cover the back of that. So, 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 I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cut the edges. Doing laundry today. Had some phone conversations with our kids. We're trying to keep in close touch and just see what is happening with them. My one daughter that um, she manages a restaurant and unfortunately one of her employees has come down with COVID-19. So she may be closing her restaurant for a bit. Okay, I'm gonna make this, um, what do I wanna say? I'm gonna make it skinnier than the pocket because it won't show and then that way right there then maybe that way I can get it in there easier to because like I say I probably should have done this prior to but that's all right let's see I think I'll go this way first I always try to cut my paper so I leave the the largest intact hunk that I can you know um, so yeah my daughter We'll be off work. My son-in-law, different family, um, works with the public, is also off work. So, so it goes. 
Um, and Mike and I are just hanging out here at our house. <laughs> Mike and I and Jimmy Joe. Jimmy Joe makes us so happy. He just, uh, he really does. He's such a good boy, except for when he's not. <laughs> okay. I mean, it just kind of, I don't know how I, how quite I'm going to do this. Oh, get off of there. I don't want you on there. Uh-oh. Okay. Get down in there. Like I say, should have done this before, but that's all right. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. It's going to be fine. There we go. Okay. Now that edge is not very... I want, them to, I want it to stick really well because I don't want it to impede... I'm beginning to wonder about this stick of Uhu, to be honest with you. But we'll see how it works on this. Alrighty then. So we have that pretty little blue in there. Did I back you out? I did. Okay. A little bit. Backed you out a little bit. Alright, so I've got some good scrappage here. Let's see what we can do with this scrappage. I love this right here. So let's see. Not a lot of it's going to show. Okay, let's do this. almost wondering if I can do it in half and use it on both sides maybe we'll just see and we're only going to decorate the front right because the back is going to be um, on the page Ooh, that's going to be lovely, lovely. So aren't we so happy that we have our crafting? Oh, I am so grateful to have, have my crafting outlet. So good. Okay. I'm going to put that down and then we'll go from there. Okay, let's see how this glue is going to do. Well, it seems just fine. Do I want to just use this on the other side? I think I might. I love that. Bit tricky to tear, isn't it? Yeah, so, um, yeah, so I have that, uh, that Journal of Jens coming up. I also have, um, I think this next week I'm going to get a box from, um, Blue Fern Studios, so I'll definitely, definitely, definitely share that with you guys and then um and then i need to i need to do my project for craft text which those are really hard for me <laughs> i'm gonna say um now granted the last one i i hardly had any time because i got this stuff and it was like four days before the end of the month so that purple one i had to jump right on that um kind of nice with that boat right there isn't it so anyway um 
I think I'll do that off camera because I, I just, I really have to think and try not to mess it up. <laughs> oh, it, yeah, it's just, it's, it's harder for me than anything I've done, to be honest with you, because I think what's going to be hard is it's going to be hard to come up with something unique every month. I mean, pretty much it's going to be a journal cover, you know, or something journal related. I do have an idea though for March, so I'm happy about that. Oh, I, I, it's just going to be, if I implement my idea, is it going to be worthy of posting even, you know, I just don't know. We'll see. <laughs> That remains to be seen. So that's cute. That's part of the little boat in Venice right there. And then that's just kind of nice because it's um, it's some flowers. I'm going to do it that way, I think. And just a teeny weeny bit to tear off, which is going to be a little tricky, but... We got it. Okay, so now we've got this, oh, I've got to ink it. We've got this pocket pretty well done, I would say. And I'd like to make something to go in the pocket. Because right now I have like four pieces up there that we've done. And um, so there we go. So there's our little pocket with the window. That is lovely. Okay. So I need a tag for in there. Happen to I happen to have some gluey pages. That way that's too... I might use this paper and I'm going to cut it right here and I'm just going to even off the top I think. Yeah, I've been I've been saving window envelopes again. I wasn't for a while because I had so many of them, but it's like they are really fun to play with, and we all get them in the mail. We all do. Oh gosh, I can hear Jimmy Joe's getting in trouble up there because he's wild. They just came in from shoveling. <laughs> oh man. Our, our veterinarian just laughs at us because she's got a puppy too. And she, she just laughs when we tell her all of our stories. She's just like, yep, I know. Yep, I know. <laughs> okay, so what what would we like on our, you know, we it's going to show through the pocket. So I'd like something. Here's my ephemera from Rachel. I'd like something wonderful. Hmm. I think I like this. I don't know if it's too big or not. We'll see. I was going to use some of the vintage. Oh, no, it's going to be actually really good. Well, that is not so much a collaged tag as it is a... I'm going to cut that out so I don't accidentally tear something else. It's not going to be so much a collage tag as it is going to be a image put on a tag <laughs> but it's so pretty I think it'll be pretty showing through the okay I really like this side best so 
So I think I'm just going to glue that on there. Let's get rid of this one. It's all gooky. Okay. All right. Thud, thud, thud. He's running across the floor up there. Goofy guy. Oh, he cracks me up. He is a goofball. All right, so now I just want to kind of line this up and put this on this side so that we see most of the roses, you know? Okay, and then I can just cut this. Okay. Ooh, isn't that pretty? That's so fun. Okay. Now I have a little white at the top, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking inking. What I'm thinking. You never know it now. Okay. Oops, sorry. I had my arm on the table, so I probably jiggled ya. Okay. So now I'm back. Let's put, you know what? I have this old book page here that's just really nicely yellowed. So let's do that. I think I'm not going to worry about getting the edges because I'm going to sew this. So, I'll just go right down here like this. Could still use this piece in something. Could use maybe this piece in something. Not so much these two. Okay. Ooh, that is a lovely color of, of Auntie Q. Did I ever tell you that story? Oh, that was so hilarious. My daughter and I were garage sailing and um, it was back when I had my little brick, brick and mortar store. And um, <laughs> we went to this garage sale and um, you know, I had a lot of vintage stuff in my store. Well, the, I don't know, I can't remember now what it even was, but we came across some, some sort of treasure. And, um, I probably asked the guy, so would you take, you know, maybe he had 20 bucks on it and would you take 17 or something, you know, you know, the bartering that goes on at garage sales. And the guy said, oh, I think I'm going to stick to 20 bucks because you know that's a genuine antique. <laughs> genuine antique. <laughs> Not so much an antique as an antique. Oh my gosh, it cracked us up. We la we've laughed about that for years. Ooh, isn't that going to be pretty? Yes. Okay. That's really fun. Okay, I'm gonna zip around that sewing real quick here, guys. isn't in coordination with my hands at the moment.
Okay, I could have put a topper on that, but I don't know, I just kind of liked it plain. And it sticks out of the pocket, so it's just fine that way. Cute. Well, that's a fun little pocket and tag, don't you think? The little window in it. And then, of course, this will be this will be attached, and you can write on the back of the card. Okay. Number five, piece of ephemera. Okay, we've got 30, 30 minutes left is what we have. Um, where's my other, here's the other pocket. This one we don't care about the inside. Um, maybe we'll do this quick. And I do think I want to punch a little hole in this one, but I think I'll cover it first. Yeah, I'll cover it first. So what do we have that we could cover that with that would be fun? Um, you know what I haven't used yet is any of these. Are they big enough? Well, that one is. Ooh. Ooh, let's, let's make it out of, I'm going to make it, oh, it doesn't quite fit. That's okay. We have a big piece of paper here. Where is it? Here it is. I, I wanted to use this in there too. So let's use this for a pocket. Okay. We have a plan, Stan. Oh, you know would be fun too. Um, yeah, I'm going to find some Italian book page that that Rachel sent me in one of my, one of my little packets like this. And let's see. I was just seeing what there is in here, guys. Ooh, that is cool. I think I want to scan that first. So maybe not this last page. This last page is okay. Okay. Look at the color of that. It's awesome. I'll be glad when the world quits going crazy and Rachel can put physical items in her in her um, shop again. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. It's very fragile. Very fragile. Okay, I am going to just kind of pull this off. Such a pretty color. I think I'm going to keep that. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is cover the pocket with this first, and then I think that's what I'll do. Okay. Talking myself through this. <laughs> might 
help to get the, the side that I've torn already, right? sure if I can ink this old paper or not. Put it down like this to ink it. Yep. I don't want to put it where there's any ink be or any uh, glue because it's so fragile. Martha to punch out a little something right there if I can get her in there. Love these vintage wallpapers from Studio 717. They are awesome. Oh, that is way fun. Okay, so now what do I kind of want in the middle? I was thinking about maybe this R. But I don't know. I think I did a shoddy printing because I kind of cut off this side, but that's okay. I think we might layer it with something else here. Oh yeah, isn't that pretty? Ooh, fun. Um, what I'm wondering is if I want a little piece of fabric under it or something, or if I just want it like that. I do kind of like the simplicity of that, but let's just grab something um, and see. Nothing much. Maybe like something like this. Let's see. Sorry, I'm fighting with my fabrics here. I don't think I can get that off of there. So I'm just going to cut it. Okay. stretch okay let's see how how we like it with something behind it I actually like it better without I'm just gonna go without okie dokie sometimes you just gotta try it to see okay I had one more thing I wanted to kind of try and do if I can in this video isn't it okay I'm just gonna sew around the three edges of that I think close to the edge as I can be 
So then I'll probably just put one of the tags from the Vintage 717 in there. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm not going to think about that right now because I wanted to play a little bit with some cardboard because you all were like the cardboard that I saved from making the cover. Talking about could you make clusters out of it? Yeah, that's absolutely what you could do with it. And I have this green one that is ever so bright. I must have used up some paint with it. And I was thinking, let me get a baby wipe. Oh no, this is a total experiment. But this ink is almost gone. And so I don't think it'll spray out of the bottle. Oh, it's all dried up, so so much for that. I want to tone this down, is what I want to do, which I definitely could use ink of some sort. Could use paint, could gesso, of course. Hmm, I'll have to think on that. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. This one, let's do this. Let's take, let's take some sepia and see what it does on there. Grungies it up, doesn't it? Okay. Then what? Then what do we want to do on it? And do I want to go that way with it? I might. And I think I might make it into a paper clip. So, need a paper clip. Also need some cardstock of some sort. Hold on one sec. Find a piece of card stock, just a little scrap is all we need. Okay. Now, what I want to do is do this. Right? Is that what I want to do? That is what I want to do. I think I do want the lot. Do I want the larger or the smaller? I think the smaller. Okay. Just happened to make some decisions, Gail, for crying in the bucket, huh? Okay, so I'm just going to use Faber Tac on this. You. The ever, the ever present and famous glue goobers. some glue on this. And glue that down on my piece of cardboard. Okay. Okay, while that's drying, 
let's think what we might like to do. I've got some smaller scraps. That one, for instance. What else do I have? I have this one. Got that piece that I just cut. This. Got a little bit of green on this thing. This is fairly small, okay. I'm just sitting here thinking about the uh, main element. That's what I'm thinking about. Oh, I have a little piece of lace over here. I'm gonna be so sad when I'm out of this because I love this, whatever this is. It's kind of almost like netting, but thicker. Okay. one's torn. that. I think I might also put a bit of that on there. Okay, and I'm gonna um, staple that. And then I'm gonna think about kind of what I want for the focal point there. Um, I'm gonna look in here. one of these flowers. Yep. It's just nice and neutral grungy. Grungy. Okay, I just saw something else. I saw this little flower. I think I got it. The, the diamond on this feels a little fancy for me. So I think I'm just going to go with this. And why did I put my fabric tack back there? I don't know. Make sure I get the right side up. It's so it's hard to tell on this one. I think I'm gonna go 
glue this a little bit too. Just to help along the um, staple a little bit. Okay. So we made a fun little cluster out of the cardboard. I love that. Let me get it up here too, yeah. Isn't that cute? Okay, so I don't know, we could possibly have time to figure out what it is we wanna put in this pocket. Where are my tags and stuff? From, there they are. Too big, too big, too big. Um, wonder about that middle one. Gonna have to back this on, um, something because it's on, uh, I think I did this one on my Red River photo mat paper. So yeah, that'll go in there. Maybe along with something else. We'll have to see. I'm going to have to get into my ephemera basket and see if there's other ephemera already made that we can use in this journal. in there yeah then we can maybe put something maybe we can put some sort of image on the front of it um right, let's decorate the front because I can always back it off camera if we run out of time Oh, I was thinking those would be fun journal cards as are like to go in a belly band or something. Okay. I need to get my book sewn together and then I'll have a better uh, idea of what we need to keep too. I still have this one from Rachel. It's kind of got this nice flower on it. Would I like to just cut that up? Or tear it, fussy character it. was I didn't use this image because um, I had an, had an odd number once I filled out my signatures. And so this one, this one didn't make the cut, but maybe it's because it needed to be saved for this tag. not. Nope. 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 Um, 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 let's look at Rachel's stuff. We've got this silly bird. I wonder if he would be good. I don't know why I think he's silly. There are some animals that you just see and they just kind of make you smile though. They're like... They're silly. They're just silly. Yeah, that's fine on there, isn't it?
definitely think I want to put some lace at the top of this one. I might put something kind of down at his feet too, but let's get him on there. Gosh, I have garbage in where my book, glue book goes and my glue book is so far away I can't reach it. <laughs> What's wrong with this picture? Throw the garbage far away and keep your glue book handy. Oh goodness. Okay. Okay. Right about there, I think. Okay. I was thinking I've got this little piece. That little piece and what else? Um this little lace that could extend out a little further. Yep, I just think I'm going to get zip that on there real quick. Yeah, that works. And then we just need to, actually, I think I'm gonna um, sew around the three sides of the image. adds quite a bit to that little tag. Oh yeah. I never think of going around the image until after I've already put the back on usually. So then I think I'm just going to back that with um, some, look at that, with some straw paper. I'm just about out of time, aren't I? Yikes. Okay, I'm just going to do this. Because there's not going to be a whole lot of waste. And put that on there. And cut around it. I think I might wait for it to dry to cut around it because <laughs> I got it all gluey. But, and then, um, then we'll put maybe just a little bit of lace at the top. Nothing too crazy. Or what about, I've got this little piece. I'm almost wondering... I want to do this on the top. I do. So that will be the topper. And then that will take, go in there. And then we did our altar paper clip. And then we did this, this um, pocket and tag. So got quite a bit of ephemera made today out of, out of some of our, some of our junk, but some of our other supplies as well. So thanks, everybody, so much for watching. I appreciate it. Be well, everyone, and have a grateful day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.